Greetings and welcome to a very special sort of announcement reveal thing. Um, <laughs> yeah, I'm proud to announce that on the 31st of August, Nordic Press will be releasing my second short story collection, which is entitled Visions and Abominations. Now, it contains 20 short stories. So they range from sort of novelettes to shorts. Um, yeah, and they're all sort of cosmic horror. There's plenty of uh, weird and wonderful, strange things in there. Uh, I'm going to go through the contents list in, in just a moment. Uh, it also contains a foreword from my friend and co-host of Innsmouth Book Club podcast, Mr. Robert Poyton. Uh, yeah, so like I say, that is coming out on the 31st of August. Uh, you can see the link is scrolling across the bottom of the screen. It should also be underneath the video, so just... Give it a tap, and that's a universal link. It'll take you right to the pre-order. Yeah, go forth. Uh, yes, so without further ado, let me show you off Show off the cover. Uh, it's a lovely bit of work. There we go. Suitably strange, don't you think? Yeah, suitably, suitably weird and wonderful. Uh, I love it, personally. Uh, it's got sort of cool um, Hounds of Tindalos kind of vibes for me. Uh you know, I'm a big sucker for anything like that. Um, and I don't know, I just think it's quite eye-catching. And uh, yeah, not entirely sure where uh, where it came from. Uh, I should, I'll, I'll ask and I'll find out at some point. Um, but yeah, it's a, it's a lovely, lovely cover um, Mr. Mary Holtman just found for me. Um, yeah, so without further ado, I'll go through the stories a little bit. Um that's the that's the contents list. I was just going to flash that up, and I thought there's no way you're going to sit there and read that. <laughs> now, um, like I say, this is my second short, short story collection. This is my first. That was 18 stories, and as you can see, it's quite a hefty tome. Um, this one, uh, I just checked the word count. It comes in at pretty much a uh, hundred thou. Uh, so yeah, it, <laughs> it's it's going to be quite a big book. Um, yeah, so I'll go through the contents. It, it kicks off with the novelette Carpe Detritus, which uh, was a standalone release at one point. Um, yeah, it's uh, a weird one, that. Um, it's followed up by the short story The Taste Tasty Treats, which was originally released in Erie River Publishing's Midnight Shadows last year. Uh, the third one is um, previously unreleased. It's called The Secrets of High Bend Chapel. Uh, number four is one that was released at some point. I can't remember where or when. <laughs> it was called Death and Taxes. Uh, another one, the, the next one is Grave Corruption, which featured in last year's Lammas Eve edition of Lovecraft Diana magazine. Um, obviously, I mean, this year's Love, uh, Lammas Eve with the Dappled Egg. Um, after that, we've got the story Morty Vicar, uh, <laughs> which is as ridiculous as it sounds. Uh, after that, we got How Much Is That Doggy in the Window? Uh, it's not the one with the waggly tail, let me just say that. Uh, after that, is the first, the first, it's a novelette, and it's the first time I ever had a, um, a work singled out for a content warning in an anthology. <laughs> I'm not going to tell you why, because it kind of gives the game away, but... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, when they said we're gonna have to put a content warning on this, I was kind of like, Yeah, I get, I, I get, I get that. I, I can see why. <laughs> I can see why. Yeah, I can. <laughs> so, yeah, that's called Becoming a Man. Uh, after that is a story called Cracking Up. After that is Guided by the Light. After that is Model Citizen, which uh, was the first story I ever did a live reading of. Uh, and if any, anybody tuned in, it was before I got the tablet with the light on it. And I, I had everything turned off and lit with fairy lights and everything, and I was trying to read a book in the dark. So, yeah, it went about as well as you'd expect. <laughs> After that is my crime, my cosmic crime caper, It's Only Over When. After that is Fronds, which is a companion story to my novella, Miracle Growth. After that, it's Free Domer which is probably one of the single most ridiculous things I've ever written, and I love it. <laughs> After that, it's uh, one that I wrote for a cookbook called Fit for the Gods. Uh, it's one I wrote for Madness Heart Press's Ghastly Gastronomy. Uh, After that is a, a sort of tale of 
how can I describe it? Um, weird stuff. <laughs> Say that about everything, right? Um, <clears throat> paranormal investigation got awry. Uh, let's just put it like that. It's called Voices on the Wind. Uh, after that, I've put in the Jack and Elsie cycle, which is actually three stories for the price of one. Um, it's three. Uh, it was like a flash fiction thing I was invited to. And um, the stories would sort of be 1,000, sort of, 50, you know, 1,500 words. Um, and I really struggle with anything really short, as a lot of people will have heard me say before. So this was my way around it. I wrote a story sort of in three parts. It takes place at three different points. but it, it And they're standalone stories, but they add up to one. It's my sort of overly complicated way of getting around a word count. <laughs> uh, yeah, the the uh, individual parts are called Karma Has Teeth, The Vigil, and The Thing in the Shed. Uh, the next story is another really ridiculous one. It's uh, about that, that wholesome British pastime, dogging. It's called Once Bitten. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the next one is a, a rock and roll story based on a Sisters of Mercy song called Body Electric. And the final piece is a story about uh, a, my little friend Ollie, who's a tiny little red octopus who ended up being the cover star of a Manison Press anthology. It's a story about him. Uh, yeah. So there you go. And like, like I said as well, there's also a foreword from Mr. Rob Poynton. Uh, and yeah, I'm really pleased with how it's all come together. Now, it was I kind of struggled a lot more with this, putting this one together, like curating this one, because when I put together the first one, the Pseudopod Rocks, the Cradle, then this was that was kind of all that I had back. Um, because obviously when, when something gets accepted and is published in an anthology or a magazine, it gets an exclusivity period. So you can't reprint it until it come, until the rights revert to you. Um, so this was basically, um, it was sort of like seven stories that I just wrote specifically for it and um, what I'd had back, um, which was back in my possession, basically. And since then, <laughs> I've had enough stories come back <laughs> to fill, I worked it out, to fill, like, to fill another four anthologies uh so uh, collections so yeah that was kind of a kind of an issue uh of deciding so so they kind of flow in a in a strange way a lot of the stories are linked and there's links going through them threads and dangly bits and dang, dangly bits <laughs> um threads and things like that, that that go all the way through them and some of those threads tie on to novellas some of those threads tie on to stories in this collection because uh, as most of you will know, pretty much everything of mine is linked in some strange way, shape or form. That link could be tenuous. That link could be a direct sequel, prequel, side story, embellishment, <laughs> coda, whatever. <laughs> but yeah, so that's basically it. And I was I was trying I spent ages sort of agonizing over how where I was going to put them all and do it. And I'm quite pleased with how it flows um in the end i want i basically i thought in the way of music in the way you'd, you'd you'd structure an album so i wanted like punchy bits faster bits slower bits longer pieces more in depth what humorous bits light and dark and shade and all that kind of shite um so yeah in the end I, in the end i think it's come out as well as as well as it could um like i say some stories i i kept back for other things uh and for other projects and other stuff and this and that the other so yeah it's uh it's kind of it's it's basically i how i say it in the preface is that it's kind of season two uh if this was sort of season one that's this is season two that's probably the best way of looking at it um but the way the way I write my things is as well as if you haven't read the other stuff, it doesn't matter. You can still read everything standalone, but it all fits together in a yeah. <laughs> I don't know what the picture is going to look like at the end, but you know, uh, yeah. So that's kind of it. That's kind of how it is. And um, like I say again, it's such a, a superb cover. That's uh, so it's going to be a lovely looking book. And this is, I believe, part of their Mythos imprint. 
which uh, is part of Nordic Press. They've got their, they've got a few imprints, like different. They've got like a fantasy imprint and a, this imprint, but they've got a specific mythos imprint, which has got a lovely little uh, thing of an octopus. Uh, <laughs> and uh, yeah, my last novella, Antisocial Housing, was also part of this series, uh, that imprint. So yeah. And I've got some other bits and pieces working with them on that kind of stuff as well, but that's all, you know. Uh, but <laughs> yeah, so uh, yeah, so that's why, why, like the other month, I was a bit like brain exploded because a lot of the stories I wrote a long time ago, um, you know, they've been sitting around like a couple of years now, like after coming back, whatever. Um, and some of them needed work. Uh, so some of the stories in there have been almost entirely rewritten. Some of them have just had a bit of a tweak. Some of them have had a bits here and there, bits cut out, bits added back. Some are basically full. The the some of the, some of the stories I had to cut to get them under word counts. So they're the the sort of the extended versions, or you know, the director's cut. Or whatever, <laughs> however you would say it, I don't know. But there you go. Uh, yeah. So a lot of them have. Um, there was it was a lot of work went into it, a lot more than I was actually anticipating. Uh, when I thought, oh yeah, put another short story to connection. Yeah, I could do, yeah, I'll do that. Just give me a couple of hours. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> yeah, like three weeks and a lot of swearing later, and I had it done. Um, yeah. So like I say, it's available for pre-order now. Uh, I'm really looking forward to it really being released. I will do be doing a live launch on probably on the day, maybe not on the day, maybe the day before or after or whatever, um, around the time it's released, uh, which I'll do a live reading of one of the stories. Because um, I haven't actually done a, a, a full live reading for a while. I've done excerpts in launch parties and things, but I really enjoy doing the, the proper uh, solo live reading thing. So I've not done one for a while, so I'll do another one. Um, yeah. Uh, and right, yeah, I'll just have a look. Uh, if anyone's got any questions, get them down in the comments. Um, let's have a look. Ah, yeah. Evening, Luke. Yeah, I saw your. Yeah, because I I saw um, when Nordic Press did the the big sort of pre order reveal earlier. Uh, it was actually Luke that said, "I want to see a uh, contents list." So. Yeah, <laughs> so so I'm glad you did that because that made a chunk up a good chunk of this video. Otherwise, it has been rambling on, and it probably wouldn't have made any you know any sense. So, cheers for that, mate. <laughs> yeah, that's a very good point. Yeah, you're right. It, it does look a bit like a magic card, doesn't it? It does. Yeah, especially the um, the Rakdos stuff uh, from from like five or six years ago because that had a lot of like bright colors in there uh yeah i can see that definitely ah <laughs> just like uh, <laughs> thanks mate thanks man ah cheers cheers mr c thanks for joining tuning in sir this uh, that's a man who i worked with for many years back in the day i was a pain in his backside chef <laughs> cheers mike <laughs> uh yeah oh and uh, another one come out of the woodwork <laughs> he worked with us at the same time <laughs> oh rob how you doing man cheers thanks <laughs> yeah so like i say thank you all for tuning in and thank you all for you know, support or whatever and like i say the book will be released on the 31st of august uh you can get hold of a copy of it like the, you can pre-order it now it'll be out in paperback uh, and Kindle and all that lovely stuff. So yes, thank you very much. And like I say, keep your eyes peeled. There will be another launch party, uh, a proper launch party with a reading, that kind of business. Um, thank you all for tuning in. Uh, have a good evening and I will speak to you all soon.